Welcome to the channel everybody. In today's video we're going to be talking about putters. Drive for show, putt for dough. That's what they say. Now I'm going to be talking about my five most inspirational putters of all times. Some of them still on the market of which I feel that you should go out and try and hopefully help improve your game. Let's get into the video. First up then, the Ping Answer. 1967 this was first released. Some of you will know it from uh, Severiano Ballesteros days. It won its first major in 1969 and has probably been the most inspirational putter for all the other brands out there on the market. Every brand who release putters release a putter similar to what we're seeing out of this original Ping Answer. Some of you remember Jack Nicholas actually using this putter and I think it even had like Slazenger incorporated into it. But 1967 is when it first released. It had no markings on the top and it was slightly rounded. And other putters that you've probably seen are Scotty Cameron's Newport range. This is one that Scotty Cameron brought out and then obviously Titleist uh, brought themselves in with Scotty Cameron to make the actual Newport range. This is a, a special edition Trillium one, but this is something that has been inspired. And like I said, lots of other brands out there are using a putter that has been inspired by the Ping Answer. Like I said, a little bit more rounded. On this particular one, we've got a line on the top. The original one, it never had a line. But lots of people out there wanting to put lines on that top rail just to give them a bit of an alignment towards that hole. But that is my number one, the Ping Answer putter, inspiring lots of golfers out there, but also inspiring lots of brands out there. Now this may shock a few of you, but number two, the Zebra Putter. Now, down there in the comments, does anyone actually remember the old original Zebra Putter? 1976 was when it was first released and it came flying out the blocks when Raymond Floyd went to win the Masters Championship in 1976 using the Zebra Putter. This putter was very popular right the way through the 70s, 80s and into the 90s by not only just golfers of all handicap range, should we say, but also tour professionals. Lots of players using this putter on tour. One of the main focus points with this one is to do with the neck of the putter. It actually was one of the first face balance putters out there on the market, which enabled people to be able to maybe just control their stroke a little bit more. But we talked about alignment on that answer putter. We've got massive alignment when it comes to the zebra putter on top. That big white line in the middle just enable people to be able to line up towards their target just a little bit easier. And this putter has been re-released, thank goodness, because it was a putter that I first got into the game of golf with using. It just enabled me to be able to line up to the target just that little bit easier. This one I've got here now is a kind of pumped up version than what you had previously, but massive MOI, massive stability, and this is why I've put it in as my number two. The title is Scotty Cameron Newport 2, my putter of choice. And I've put this in as number three, first released in 1997. Again, came hurtling out the blocks when Tiger Woods went on to win the Masters Championship using the kind of Trillium version of this particular putter. Now, this one, I believe Scotty Cameron was inspired by Ping because at the time, Ping had a Ping Answer 2 putter, which I actually have managed to find one for this particular video. This is the Ping Answer 2. They had a silver version and then you had the copper version. And some of you may remember even Greg Norman using this putter uh, with a huge effect, getting to world number one at the time. Now the difference between the Answer, let's say, and the Answer 2 was that the Answer was maybe just a little bit bigger in its blade length, but it was also a little bit more square and it did have a line on the back of the top rail there. So it enabled people just to be able to possibly line up to their target just a little bit easier. Slightly bigger in its profile, probably gave it a little bit more MOI as well, so maybe a little bit more forgiveness. But the Newport 2 really has set the mark when it comes to premium, premium putters. I think the Newport 2 is something that's gonna stand the test of time. It's used by so many golfers out there and that's why I've put it in as number three. Coming in at number four, let's look at the most sold putter of all time, the Odyssey 2-Ball. Now this putter was released in 2001 and like the other putters that I've talked about in this video, came hurtling out the block. Some of the best players in the world started putting this 
putter in the bag and started to win with this putter. Now this putter was inspired by the short game coach, Dave Pelt. Dave Pelt was an engineer, but he also worked with some of the best players in the world to create their short games. Phil Mickelson certainly being one of those guys. Now, Dave Peltz at the time had created a three ball putter. He basically created a face of a putter and on the back of it, he put three plastic golf balls in order to create eye alignment, just make it a little bit easier for those players to be able to line that ball up towards the target and then focus a little bit more maybe on stroke. Well, Odyssey kind of got hold of Dave Peltz and then off the back of that created a more sellable product in the two ball range. First coming out with just the two balls, you line up that ball that you're gonna be putting with against those two balls there, and it enables you to be able to line up to the target just that little bit easier. They did later on release a three ball version, but being as it was slightly big, slightly bulky, it didn't really sell as well and hasn't again stood the test of time. But this two ball putter being used by players like Jim Furyk, and more recently, let's say Shane Lowry, who continues to use this particular version, again, to massive effect. This putter, as I said, is the number one seller of all time when it comes to putters at this moment in time. And this is why I've put it in as number four. Number five, last but not least, because I think this putter is gonna go on to big things long-term in the future. And that is the TaylorMade Spider Putter. Now this particular putter was released back in 2008. Players like Jason Day, if you remember, using the red version of this putter. Lots of players out there using it. And then Dustin Johnson moving into sort of a more of a black version and then even the slightly shorter neck. If you think about it now, you've got players like Rory McIlroy and Scotty Scheffler using the Spider Putter of their particular choice. Now the great thing about this particular putter is the MOI, stability. This is what Taylor made have focused on when it comes to this particular putter. So off-centered strikes, still maintaining good amounts of ball speed, therefore still getting to your target, even if you don't quite hit it. Then they've brought in all the different necks that are available, which enables that putter to be a little bit more of a toe hang or even go up to more of a face balance putter, depending on the style of putter that you are and obviously what tour players are using. Now, I think this Taylor made putter has been well marketed. It's been put out there by TaylorMade and has gone to probably, I would say now, probably number one when it comes to putters that are gonna be sold moving forward. And if we look back at a putter review video that I did on the channel, popping it just there for you, you'll see that there was five different heads available in this particular style of putter. However, the thing that's impressed myself and Jordan certainly in the office is that the age range of those people that are looking to click on that video to see what this spider putter is all about is between the age of 18 and 25. So focusing very much on that younger golfer coming up through the ranks, which is why I believe this putter has a big future ahead of it. Now there you have it. There is my top five putters that I feel have inspired not only golfers, but brands throughout time. And I'd like to hear down in the comments which of these putters that you're using, but also have I missed any putters out there that you think should be on this top five list and bump off one of these guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but ultimately when it comes to the putter, make sure you go and get a fitting and find the putter that's gonna work best for your game. Thanks for watching.